Hey there guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to be going over five things that I did that were very crucial to get me where I am today. Okay, the first of five things I'm going to be talking about here is social media. And I mean this might be the most important topic I talk about because once I started staying off of social media, that's when things really started to change for me. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, it's pretty much just one big distraction. And, I mean, that's how they designed it to be. I mean, you're watching all these celebrities. You're keeping up with all these people and posts that don't matter. And you got these Andrew Tate clips, motivational clips that get you temporarily motivated. Um, I mean, which is fine, but temporary motivation doesn't lead to anything consistent. Anyway, social media, it just makes you compare makes you feel like you got to compete, you got to keep up with this person, and, or it just makes you feel like you're not doing enough, oh, look at this person, they're doing better than me, this, that, it's a false reality, lots of misinformation, and lots of lies. And over time, I've come to learn that staying off of social media is one of the most beneficial things you can do, and it has helped me a lot in my trading. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to be talking about here is building discipline in all areas of your life outside of trading. So basically, if you can't be disciplined in other areas outside of your life, what makes you think you're going to be disciplined in trading, your profession, your job, whatever it is that you're doing? I really believe that it starts with the little things. The little things grow into consistency. And some of the things that I do to help build discipline outside of the trading include waking up early every day at the same exact time, controlling my sexual urges, Fasting, not letting myself eat for a specific period amount of time. Working out five times a week, no matter how I feel. And killing my ego. And yes, killing your ego does take discipline. Okay, coming in at number three here is going to be chase your passions, not the money. And I say this because this is actually where a lot of people mess up. They're all, If you're only thinking about the money and you're not doing something that you actually like to do or you're not passionate behind it, it's not something you love to do, like to do, whatever, it's 90% chance it's not going to work out for you. Especially with a business like trading, if all you're thinking about is the money, you're destined to fail. So you don't chase the money, you chase your passions, and as a result, you do financially well. And that's it. That's literally it. Though That right there, what I just said, is the key to success if you're chasing your passions there's going to be love dedication all that behind your work and you will be successful but if all you're thinking about is the money nowadays anything that's hyped up and the trending topic with the money signed on it that's what everyone's chasing after like look, look what happened with crypto I don't, I don't see anyone talking about that anymore but anyways as for me it just so happens that one of my main passions is making money outside of the black and white lines that society has set for us and trading just so happens to fall in line with that okay now at number four I have being alone and I put this in here and I think it's important because what I've come to realize over the years is you never truly find yourself and you never truly learn yourself until you've been alone when you're alone, you start to sit there and like realize things that you do that like you never even noticed about yourself because you were just too busy and too focused on everyone else and being around everyone else and hanging out with this person and that. You don't even really stop to look at yourself. If you combine being alone with being off of social media, you will be way more productive, get way more done, and you will become a beast. And just in case anyone interprets this the wrong way, I'm not saying become a ghost, cut everyone off, never hang out with anyone, never go outside, stay in, stay in your room all day. It's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is if you want a better chance at success, there's going to be a time where you need to be alone, a prolonged time where you need to be alone, lock in with yourself, learn yourself, and work hard. And now going into number five, last but definitely not least, <laughs> working the nine to five. Now, 
working the jobs that I did over the years taught me a lot of lessons. Uh, I worked at numerous warehouses for years, and <laughs> um, I gotta say, these jobs inspired me to do something more with my life because I hate working for other people. I hate all the other jobs I used to work in the past. And, I mean, these jobs really just suck the life out of you. And I just sit there while I was working, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, really? That, like, how do people do it? Like, work till you're, what, 60, doing this, being miserable, getting drunk on the weekend, and then retiring, that's it. No. <laughs> no, sorry. That's, that's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to work hard towards my passions every single day with dedication and I will become something more I will achieve